Colorado State on their way into town. Joining us right now via the Western Exterminator Hotline, great to have Leon McFadden back on San Diego Sports Leader Double X 1090. Leon, Dave, and Jeff, how you been, buddy? I'm doing good. How you guys been? We're doing good, thanks. We're looking at an Aztec team that's 3-3. Three and three. What's been the biggest frustration for you to this point? Uh, finishing and uh, executing our assignments on, on the defensive end and, uh, you know, complimenting each other, the offense and defense. You know, that's been a big thing that's bothered me to the, uh, up to this point, but uh, we've been making progress each week and we're improving, so we're going in the right direction. I mean, I think the big word right there is that you guys are improving. So many Aztec fans, so many people in this town are Aztecs alum, just like Jeff and I were both went to San Diego State. And I think one of the frustrating things is that there are games on the schedule that we thought the Aztecs were going to win, and you guys were unfortunately falling short. But I think you guys are getting better on a week-by-week basis. Yeah, I, can, I agree with you. Leon, talk about playing in the three-three-five defense. It's something as a fan – that we love watching. I mean, there's a lot of risk to go with the reward, but what's it like playing in Coach Long's system? Oh, I love the 3-3-5. I mean, it's a hard-nosed defense, and when you have a defense coordinator like Coach Long, I mean, he wants all 11 heads at the ball, and with the defense, it has to be all speed. And, I mean, it's a complicated defense at first, but once you get the hang of things and, and know your assignment and know where you need to be at the right time, it's fun. What about Colorado State this weekend? What can you guys expect from the Rams? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna expect them to come in and, and compete at the highest level because you know their uh, season isn't going as planned and they they're playing with the chip on the shoulder. So, so are we? You know, we're gonna go out there and compete on Saturday afternoon and last night standing and we'll win. Leon McFadden, Aztec defensive back, joins us on San Diego Sports Leader Double X Ten Ninety. It's homecoming on Saturday. They'll kick off at three thirty. We talked to Coach Long. Leon, and he's pretty funny because he's a guy who plays it by the book, pretty hard-nosed guy. But I'm wondering, how's he made you better as a player? Oh, just uh, keeping me disciplined, you know, keeping me humble. He, he's a great coach, you know. His uh, advice that he has on and off the field, I mean, it, it helps me uh, better as a player, but also as a person too. Leon, right now with the atmosphere of this team, what's it like moving forward as far as team goals go? Uh. You know, we're moving forward. Uh, people, you know, are getting confidence back. You know, this, this, the win last weekend was a, a confidence booster for the team as a whole, and, and people are realizing that it, they're better than than they think, you know, and they're going to play to their potential. And that's one of the things that, you know, I want everybody to have confidence because it's contagious on the team right now. Leon, when you watch the NFL, who are the guys in that defensive secondary that you like uh, watching? Who are the guys you try to emulate? Who do you try to be like in the NFL? Oh, Daryl Regis all the way. I mean, yeah. uh, sucks about the injury that he had, but I mean, that, that guy, he plays so smooth and his style of play is just, it, it's just, I don't know, it, it's great. I, I enjoy watching him play and watching highlights of him and, and paying attention to technique and, and things that he does. I, it's just amazing. How much of his success, talking about Darrell Revis, how much of it is technique? And how much of it is just natural ability because the guy's a phenomenal athlete? Yeah, it, it, it's a little bit of both, you know. You, I mean, only athletic ability can take you so far, but with his athletic ability, it's amazing, like I said. But, you know, studying, I, I think he's in the film room all the time, studying his opponents and picking up on tendencies that will help him on uh, Sundays and Mondays, you know, to play against his opponents, and that's why he's such a great player. You know, Leon, we were talking about earlier in the show, uh, uh, Quentin Jammer, one of the things they were pointing out on NFL Network on Jammer was he gets burned often by looking at the quarterback and not following the guy that he's covering. When you're playing defensive back for San Diego State, what are you paying attention to? Uh, you got to pay attention to especially man coverage, you got to pay attention to your man. You know, uh, can't have dirty eyes, can't have your eyes in the backfield because if you're caught slipping, the ball will find you. And usually when the ball finds you on the outside, on the island, those are usually big plays. Leon McFadden joins us. We're Dave and Jeff at San Diego Sports Leader Double X 1090. Leon, you're five foot ten, but man, you look around the NFL now. Guys like Malcolm Floyd, Calvin Johnson, these guys are all six four, six five. If you have that height differential, what do you do to close that gap? Oh, you go back into the film room. You have to pay attention to tendencies that that receiver does. I mean, they'll have a height advantage of you, but it's it's all about the want and, and the will to compete. And with this game of football, that's what you have to do. 
Leon, we know you have dreams of playing in the NFL one day. When the season is over for the Aztecs, what will happen to you? Will you stay in classes in the spring, or will it be one of those, like, you, you prepare for the combines and for the draft? Uh, you know, that's up in the air right now. That's something my family and I will discuss towards the end of the season or after the season, and then we'll go from there. Hey, Leon, can't thank you enough for taking a few minutes. Continued success. We'll be watching Saturday. Good luck at homecoming. Thank you.